don't hear him bite the boat just right there. Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And we're walking up to a little local watering hole. It's a swimming hole and a fishing hole for kids. And there's been a massive alligator. Okay, he just ate a boy's dog. And he's a super, super dangerous gator. buddy Kevin he's got tags so we're gonna come over here and see if we can't catch the skater so the kids can keep fishing here and having a good time here this is where they fish right here and that gator comes from down here and literally it just smashes everything we were hoping he would just sort of be here cruising around which is what he's normally doing but we he's not so we're gonna play some alligator sounds like a growl which would be another alligator in his territory. Hopefully he comes in for that. That is an incredibly dangerous alligator. That gator is about eight and a half, nine feet long. Has absolute no fear of us. And little kids, five, six year old kids come right here on this bank and fish. That gator could snatch a kid in the water faster than you could blink an eye. We need to kill that gator right there. That gator's dangerous. Let me show y'all what a hungry alligator will do. Ocean's gonna call in the big, big gator. This bait has no hook in it. It's just an indicator to where he is. Here's a little boat we're gonna try to use and get down there because there's no way we can catch this gator off the bank where he is. There's just too many logs and too much stuff. Off we go. Got to go catch an alligator. There's a bang stick. Yeah, I got it. Now here's the problem. We literally have an alligator right there that could care less about our existence. 
I've never had a wild alligator do this. Yeah, let's not fall in water. Let me see how much pressure I can put on this joker. Look at this gator. Got to stop, got to make him pull us. Okay, settle him down right there. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Oh, stop him right there. I might have the stinking gator right here. I think I have the gator right here. Okay. Oh, okay. He just came out of whatever. Easy, 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 easy. Hold on, Let me get the harpoon. Here, pull this this way. Mm. Hold on. He's gonna be mouth. Got him. Nice one. That's a nice stinking gator, boys. He's bigger than what I thought he was. Yeah. Okay, now let me go to the front of the boat. Okay. Oh, hear him bite the boat just right there. Dude, he just bit the boat about as hard as you can bite it. Hold on. Yeah, he's a nice skater. But we got to get him killed now. Come off your drag. <sighs> serious, y'all. This is serious. Go to the very back and just stay center of the boat. Mm. Dude, he is chomping on your boat, bro. Mm. Look at that. Here in Florida, a bang stick, this is the only way you can legally dispatch an alligator. So, it's on fire. Oh, he's got my, he's, he bit the, he's got the, the dagum. Here, you're gonna shoot him real quick. He's got the, the dagum. Stay sitting down. Okay, there he is. Hold on. Get it, get it down and hit him right in the neck, right there. Down lower, lower, lower. Whew. We're in a daggum little bitty John boat in the middle of nowhere, wrestling an alligator that's bigger than the boat. Here we go, we got him coming got him, now. Alright. There's the gator right here. Hold on, hold on, let me straddle him. One, two, three, go. Can you get up here a little bit? One, one, two, three, go. 
There you go. One, two, corner. Hold on. It's useless now. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. Go. There he is, boys. Woo. Hey. Nice work, man. Appreciate it. Tiny. <laughs> I'm in all kinds of briars here. <laughs> so, Tiny's the one, this is his fishing hole. His children, Knox and Hope, they're the ones who'd like to fish here. And whenever he told me he had a tag for this spot and that this alligator was living here, what did I say? He's, he's done. I said, we're not gonna stop until, we're, until we got him on the bank. And now, he's on the bank. Just got him hooked up with the rod. Come on, Mama Pizza. You got your tuna. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna get the boat and we're gonna fight him in the boat. Mm -hmm. Okay, just swim out here to where I am. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was rich back. Dang, you got cat-like reflexes. You don't wanna get in this water. Pull as hard as you can. The gator's literally laying right here. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, right there. Reel down to him. Good job. I'm just trying to see his body right now. Okay, reel down to him. Bring him on up. One more time, you're getting close. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. Stuck like Chuck. He is stuck like Chuck. That is correct, okay? Now take your rod, put your rod. We're gonna we're gonna go to really light drag. Okay. Hold on. Whoa boy. Whoa boy. Whoa boy. He's a nice gator too. Whoa. Oh, he's gonna bite the boat. Okay, hold on. Oh, we just bit that crap out of the boat. He is not happy. Holy smokes, y'all. I want you to stand up gently. Stand up gently. And I want, when you, okay, it's on fire. See the gator's head right in the back of the neck. You're gonna hit that really hard right there. Yep. That's what we call a dead alligator. <laughs> oh my gosh. You whopped him. Holy cow, that was a serious kapow. Yeah, that was out of the water there. awesome. Holy smokes. There we go. All right. You want to swim back? <laughs> this is my Gator Pro harpoon. It also serves as a paddle. <laughs> and a push pole. And a pry bar. Like that alligator that we just caught is now in this bag. But it has to go through a process 
to be in this bag. You know, so many people go to a grocery store and they just pick up meat off the shelf and it's in a bag. Well, when it's in the bag, it, it, it's just meat. But you have to understand that meat doesn't come from a bag. Meat comes from the wild or a farm. And for me, hunting is just a way of life, just like eating is a way of life. And uh, my family's all in, Sarah's getting the girls all cleaned up, and uh, we're gonna make something good. Oh, Aria, come here, baby, I'm filming. What do you think I'm cooking? I heard you say it. What? Alligator. Correct. <laughs> You're just gonna take your pieces of meat that's already cubed up, and we're gonna cut it into small, like bite-sized pieces, about like that. And if you wanna know what happened today. What happened today? This happened that day. Let me see. Look at her tongue. She bit her tongue really bad. Ew. Dada, is rice done? The rice is done. Yeah, the rice is in the house. Aria, why don't you do me a favor? Huh. Go ask mommy to let you carry the pot of rice out here for me. Show them your front teeth. Nope. Put your teeth down. Oh, she's missing <laughs> two. I finally got to pull out a tooth. I'm so happy. This is the secret. You take some pickles and pour that pickle juice in here. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love it. And if you're pregnant, you're gonna love it even more. That's gonna act like a marinade. But while we do that, we're gonna take some of the pickles that come out of there and we're gonna... Why do you say if you're pregnant, you'll like it even more? Ah, there's just a myth that pregnant women like pickled stuff. Oh yeah. Since Sarah had COVID, her taste has been extremely messed up. But she still likes pickles. But she still likes pickles. So I'm doing this recipe in a hopes that we can find something that she likes. Oh yeah, you want it nice and hot, just like that. Take some oil. <laughs> right? This is some jasmine rice. I just cooked this inside. Oh, wow! You need to cook the egg before you apply the rice, otherwise it just becomes mushy. Onions. Pickles. What's your question, baby? When will you give me a pocket knife? A pocket knife? Okay, we'll get you. If you get good grades on your report card, we'll get you a pocket knife. Thank you. And then while we're there, we gotta get um, the thing that goes boom in the cooler. The oh, the bubbler? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. You gotta understand, the thing that goes bzzz, also known as an aerator. Now you're making them up! Oh yeah. This gonna be good, honey pie. Throw it over there. A little, little bit more. Perfect. Okay, good. I really like this stuff. It's ginger. It comes in a little tub. Get it in the produce section and we use it all the time. Now watch this. Watch it all start coming to life. Oh yeah. We're making it together. Oh yeah, we're making dinner, baby. I hope that's good. This is called ponzu sauce. So this is almost like a citrusy soy. Wait, can I? Hold on, baby. Oh, you are. 
It's gonna be good, y'all. It smells amazing. Watch out, baby. Stay back now. And you just put it in there like that. Cheese on top. I'm not sure about the cheese with me. <laughs> Honey pie, here you go. And I explained to them that you've been having this taste issue since so having we, COVID. So guess what? Right. We put the cucumber juice in there. Perfect, because I love pickles. Come here, come over here, y'all. Come here, Aria. Hunting and fishing and eating and cooking, this is what we do. We also say the blessing. So let's say the blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for this wonderful food. Thank you for all of our wonderful opportunities. Lord, I pray for dad and his test results. And I, I thank you for keeping us safe while we were out there alligator hunting, bringing us all home and able to enjoy this dinner together. And I pray that you forgive us of all of our sins and nourish this food to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Guess what? And it was her birthday. Yeah. Two days ago, oh, three days ago. We actually caught gators on her birthday. And guess what? What? Guess what I did during prayer? What? Tell me you weren't snacking on this. <laughs> Want a bite? No way, Jose. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, honey, this is all for you. Hey, that's you got, really good. You got that right. Holy smokes, that's good. See, the crazy thing is, if you'd have just cooked mm. this, I wouldn't be able to eat it. It's the pickle juice that I like. Hot, but it's good. Mm -hmm. So dad had to go in and get a little biopsy on his prostate. That's why he's standing up a lot today. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey daddy, so guess mean. what? If you didn't put the pickles in mine, it would have been great. Yeah? Just Emma, would you like a little bite? No. No way? It's like it's 100 degrees in cheese and fleece pajamas. Hey, they are good. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say thanks so much to Mr. John Linnae. He's the general manager, CEO of Bear Archery, Cajun Bow Fishing, Don't Trophy pardon. Ridge. And they're huge supporters of our channel. He came down to spend a few days with me and had the opportunity to go out. We went diving and alligator hunting and just got to know one another. And what an amazing person he is. Tiny and Danielle, you're a wonderful family and you have two beautiful children. And to be able to come out there and help you harvest those two alligators to make that a safe fishing hole and a, a safe area for you and your kids, man, it's an honor to call you a friend and it was a wonderful way to spend the day. And now we all have a bunch of fresh alligator meat and a great memory and a story to tell others. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> but that's all we got for today. Take care, God bless. And the birthday girl says,